CBL is contextualized learning, so you learn through discussion and exploration. So glycogen stores last about 16 hours after not having eaten, and then after that, all the glycogen's gone. Each case lasts two weeks, and the usual pattern is that on the first day you are given the first reveal, and from that you make learning outcomes for what you don't know. We deliver some content, but you're also expected to go away and find out and tell us what you've learned. So basically, glucose, when it gets into the liver, it gets converted to glycogen. Everyone happy with that? Well, the students benefit from this because they learn how to find information. So when they become doctors, they won't have the ability of people delivering content to them, delivering the information they need. They need to find out how to find that information, where to find it and validate that information. So each group is about 10 people. So it's really good because you get to know your group really well. Medicine's all about teamwork at the end of the day and you do learn those like teamwork skills that you really will need as a doctor. Also I really like the clinical relevance of case. You really do feel like you're learning all the science for a reason and it really does help to motivate you. CBL, I think it makes learning things a lot easier, so it sort of compartmentalises it so that you have all your work organised in cases you're starting the case not knowing very much but then I think it's a really quick way of learning. You have your CBL group sessions in sort of seminar rooms but then you also have the library where you go to do your self-directed learning and then the anatomy centre is in Cate's as well where you do sort of dissection, prosection, that kind of thing. And there's lecture theatres as well so you have lectures to support whatever you're learning. You also go out on placements. Every Tuesday I was out in Bridgend learning in clinical skills suites in the hospital there. You realise how important it is when you get onto placement because you see things on placement and then you can't exactly just go to random notes that you've been given to learn it. It means you can think back, okay, that was that case, so we did that topic and I think an easier way to remember things. Like you can look at textbooks and you can watch videos, but unless you're there and you can physically see it, I think you just learn so much better. So yeah, like in, in the simulation suite, the medical school puts on scenarios that are really, really important, such as like CPR. You can't really practice on patients, so like the fact that you're in a simulated suite on a, a mock patient is ideal. Really. Basically, it's just any scenario where we can't actually practice on a patient until we're comfortable to practice on a patient. The more times you practice, the better you become. So it's really good having different places that you go to, because it means it's a big variety. We understand that actually most people learn in different ways. CBL embraces all the forms of learning as opposed to just being told what to learn. To enjoy CBL, you've got to be proactive. You've got to be able to go out and find information yourself and not be passive in the way you want information delivered to you. If you embrace it and you are proactive, this is the course to be on.